Welcome back. I'm Phil Wrighthouse. If you're used to Hill & Brand's Thursday steak nights or make your own quesadillas, it may be a while before you can enjoy another one. Renovations to the dining court have caused patrons to get their meals at other locations. Christy Wolf has more on this story. With the Hill & Brand dining court and Griffin Express closed for renovations, many of Hill & Brand's residents have found getting dinner to be quite difficult. Since Hill & Brand usually closes for dinner after 7 p.m., its residents have had to eat at nearby dining courts instead. The problem with this is that many of the dining courts experience overcrowding during dinner time. To accommodate for the temporary increase of students, other dining courts have extended their hours to 8.30 p.m. You can find a complete list of the new hours online under the Campus Dining section of Purdue's homepage. And now for a look at the community calendar. Have a thing for Shakespeare? Then come see the Acting Company and the Guthrie Theatre present Henry V. The play is located in the Loeb Playhouse on Thursday, February 5th at 7 p.m. For tickets, call 494-3933. The All Majors Career and Internship Fair is on its way and will be located in the Fitness and Recreation Center. There will be over 100 employers seeking candidates for numerous professional positions. Are you a fan of billiards? A tournament is being held on February the 4th at 6 in the evening. Join in the competition at the Purdue Memorial Union. Don't have anything to do with the kids? Take them to CSI Live, playing at Low Playhouse. Get enriched in the magical excitement of crime scene investigating with two of Las Vegas' premier investigators. With three showings at 9.30 in the morning, 1 in the afternoon, and 7 p.m., the kids will be odd. If you are an avid bowler or just like to bowl for the fun of it, then you should register for Bowl for Your Kids' Sake. You can register on January 26th, 29th, on f or February the 4th from 11 to 1 p.m. Don't forget to dress up for this year's theme of safari. Oh, and don't forget, for those of you who enjoy Ultimate Frisbee, upcoming practice days for the game are January 31st and February 1st. This is from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the Armory. Back to the studio. Now we turn our attention to all things tech. Introducing a new segment on Fast Track, here's Kyle Bloyd. Hey everyone, we're starting a new segment this semester for Fast Track. Our aim is to keep you informed on all things tech. Here we go. The big rumor out of the Apple camp is that Steve Jobs won't be returning to the company. He's scheduled to be out of action until June due to medical reasons, but some people, including Endpoint Technologies analyst Roger Kay, don't think he'll be back at all. Speculation has already begun about who his replacement will be, with COO Tim Cook among the most talked about names. Others say the Jobs will come back. Only time will tell. The Senate has passed a resolution to delay the mandatory digital television switch until the 12th of June this year. They explained that they felt most Americans were not yet ready for the switch. An estimated 20 million households, primarily poor or elderly, were also not ready for the switch. The government is also refreshing coupons for anyone whose converter box had expired. For all the home gamers, a new Final Fantasy XIII trailer has been released. The two and a half minute clip reveals much about the gameplay and is available on the game's official site. And finally, there is a new law before Congress to require camera phones to click when taking a picture. The new law, called the Camera Phone Predator Alert Act, seeks to require all new phones that have camera functions to have a click sound when taking a picture. The law also will also require that users are locked out from disabling the sound. No more accidents. Have a good weekend, everybody. Purdue's campus will soon be filled with some great reggae, folk, and pop music. The Grammy-nominated artist Jason Mraz is coming to Purdue. Here is Fast Track's Carla Tosco with the story. Students have been waiting for a big concert and some will soon be happy because Purdue Convocations is bringing Jason Mraz to Purdue. The concert will take place on February 16th at Elliott Hall of Music. Students who are anticipating the concert waited in line on Friday morning for tickets to the show. Some of the students arrived at the Stewart Center as early as 4 in the morning. A Purdue student who was second in line tells Fast Track how long he has been waiting in line. Uh, my buddy got here at like 4 o'clock in the morning. He uh, left the bars and came here. I left the bars and went home and slept for about an hour and then came here. So I was here at 5, 5.30. In recent years, students have been banned from sleeping by the box offices. Purdue officials call it a safety hazard, so students settle for waking up as early as possible to be first in line. Gordon Blair tells Fast Track why he is excited to see Jason Mraz. Uh, you know, it's something to do. Uh, it seems that we only get a few good artists each year, so I figure, why not? I went to Ben Folds last year and it was pretty good, so go on this year. Looking for something to do? Check out Purdue's Jazz Swing Dance. Each year, Purdue Jazz Band hosts its very own swing dance. This popular concert features three bands, the Concert Jazz Band, the Lab Band, and AMRE. 
people come out to enjoy some excellent swing pieces and try their hand at some dancing in a casual atmosphere. This year, the concert will be at 7.30 on Friday, February 6th in the Purdue Co-Rec. Whether you've been swing dancing for years or you have two left feet, grab your friends and come enjoy an evening of free fun. Well, that's all the time we have for tonight's edition of Fast Track. For more information on tonight's stories, visit our website at web.ics.purdue.edu slash fasttrack. We'll see you next week.